Hello. Uh, so next up is uh, a mapping configuration. Seeing that I'm behind the proxy, um, um, I need to actually configure Marvin so that uh, it's able to go through the proxy. Uh, proxies can be a pain sometimes. Uh, I don't know about uh, Windows, but um, I find that tools, uh, NTLM proxy tools uh, like CNTLM are quite useful in that respect. Uh, they make life so very easy. But uh, that's going off topic anyway. Um, <coughs> so all we need to do is uh, create a settings.xml file um, in this particular location. Um, and seeing that we are working on Windows, we just need to navigate to the user home. I'm logged on as administrator, and then we just need to locate the m the dot m2 file, and then just create a settings file settings.xml file. Sorry about that. Settings.xml file in that particular location. And so I'll quickly uh, just navigate to to the user uh, home directory, and I know for a fact that uh, that particular folder. Is not there because we've only just installed Apache Marvin, and um, there's there's a very cheap trick that I normally use when um, when I've installed Marvin for the very first time, and as opposed to manually creating the dot uh, the dot uh, m too far, uh, what I what I normally do is um, I just I just run Marvin without any goals, uh, without providing it with any goals, and uh, sorry about that. Oops. Oh. oh, sorry, I might have to open a new one. Oh, there we go. So you notice that once once you run Marvin without uh, uh, without specifying uh, a goal, uh, it will automatically create uh, it automatically create uh, the folder for you. And all we need to do in here is uh, just basically uh, create an XML file. settings dot xml file yes and just open it using webpack and just copy paste uh just copy paste the uh I don't have to type this let's copy paste the uh, sorry about that Just copy paste. Uh, just copy paste the example that's on the DSpace uh, wiki documentation page. Okay, we don't need these two brothers here. And just to show you guys what uh, what typically happens if you don't, if you're sitting behind the proxy and if you don't explicitly define these values, I'll, I'll just I'll delete this file and um, I'll basically just try and uh, uh, I'll try and uh, I'll basically just try and create a default archetype and I'll, I'll let Melvin uh, prompt me for prompt me to specify uh, the associated goals that are required after this and you notice that uh, uh, sorry about that in fact what I will have to do is uh, possibly delete this okay and you notice that uh, what Marvin will do is Marvin will basically just hang and time out uh, after trying for several uh, for several seconds. Um, and this normally takes uh, a bit of time, and so uh, I'll show you the uh, the output eventually. But we'll just 
get on with the uh, previous exercise that we we are up to. Uh, just quickly create the settings with XML file, and I'll open it using Redpad, copy paste this uh, true HTTP, and uh, what I've done with my virtual box basically is um, I've set it up in such a way, not that it's important for this, but I've set it up in such a way that uh, it's actually uh, it's actually using network, ad uh, network address translation, uh, NAT protocol, and, and so I'm, I'm using my, my host operating systems, uh, uh, my host operating systems, uh, my 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 host operating systems uh, uh, CNTLM pro CNTLM as my proxy server, and then it evidently forward uh, the traffic onto the main proxy server. Um, so you, you notice that I'm actually running on uh, port set one twenty eight. Set one twenty eight, and I don't need a uh, username and password because I'm using CNTLM. Okay. Let's quickly check to see if uh, Marvin finished. Oh, thank you. So you notice here that uh, you notice that uh, um, Marvin failed right here with uh, uh, a connection timeout. Okay. Uh, so I just let's let's just uh, try and see if these settings are going to work now that we've saved the file. Um, Voila. Okay, so that's hmm. Let's quickly check uh, the website and Sorry about that, just quickly, I just want to quickly uh, walk you through what normally happens when you configure your proxy server uh, successfully. So just copy that brother there. Uh, let's quickly check and see if uh, everything is fine. Okay, then I'll just delete this repository because uh, it, it automatically be created anyway. Uh, okay, there we go. So you notice that uh, Mervin is uh, working successfully because it's 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 ideally downloading uh, it's it's downloading dependencies onto this repository folder right here. Okay, uh, so now that Mervin is working. Uh, I'll see you in the next video where I'll just quickly walk you through the uh, uh, installation process of uh, installation process. Sorry, of Apache Ant. Uh, see you.